What's up everybody, Jordan here back with another video for the Stoltz Farm YouTube channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the last one. We're back out in the field, planting, spreading fertilizer, cultivating, picking rocks, all the things, getting ready for another season of farming. Uh, we are late, like I said last video, three or four weeks late, uh, but things are cruising right along. No serious breakdowns yet. We're getting some stuff done. Fields are getting planted. We're working on barley right now. Still continuing on with that. I think we're gonna do canola, uh, maybe today or tomorrow, even after the barley, and then kind of focus on wheat and things like that. Today, gonna do a variety of things, and this video will probably span over a couple days. Uh, but to start today, we're gonna take this side by side. We're gonna take this out to go pick rocks with it. We do have a rock picker that we hook up to the 7510, but um, sometimes it's easier if there's just three or four rocks to run out with a side by side, muscle them up, knock out some tractor driving time. It's hot today, about 90 degrees, 85 degrees. It'll be a sweaty one. We're gonna get going though, pick up the rocks, take these doors off first so we can stay cool and get the rocks and then maybe do a little harrowing, spreading fertilizer, seeding, a little bit of everything today. Continuing on with the planting, 2023. for tires that we're gonna break those up and uh, the harrow is great for that the barley is pretty much finished planting up to the point that the contract requires it to be and then um, there's a little bit maybe past that we're gonna fill in some spots as well but we're gonna take a pause on barley for now switch over to canola to plant and uh, canola always turns out to be a pretty good crop around here so gonna focus on that next before we do the wheat a little bit of fertilizer in the interrogator to get rid of though before we can move to fertilizing canola. It takes a different fertilizer for canola than any other crop. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that wheat fertilizer in the interrogator down here at a field uh, down the road a little bit. I'm headed down there to hop in the interrogator and spread that field real quick. We can dig that in uh, probably tomorrow as well. So um, probably tomorrow morning. next day and um, back to work a little bit here 
things have progressed quite nicely since I mean one video ago and then even the previous day in this video barley is finished we're done planting with that I think I already had that update canola is finished as of today and we're about 50 acres of wheat in as well so gonna start chipping away at wheat that's what I was just doing was assisting in filling the air seeder with wheat and fertilizer it's one of those wickedly windy North Dakota days 40 mile an hour winds or so that happen every spring and then again in the fall uh, so dealing with that and it kind of needed two people to fill up the air seeder and keep everything where it needed to be I'm headed up to one of our north fields to cultivate a little bit and work in some fertilizer it is 85 degrees even with this wind so not great uh, fertilizer weather the fertilizer spreader it's not great to even spread it in high winds like this got the fertilizer down though but this heat will really break up that fertilizer and render it useless essentially if we don't work it into the ground without any rain coming in the near future so need to get that cultivating done tonight to make sure that that's all worked in so a bit of a job up there to do back to the tractor i go as we continue on with planting 2023 now we're on to the third crop of the year with some wheat all right coming up to the field i don't know what you guys can see on the horizon here but uh, the rock picker is going to work over there on the right right over there and the other tractor is way off in the distance that's either the 8870 or 8770 that's what we'll be in today this field is notorious for a lot of rocks. We actually cultivated this field last fall and we picked rocks on it after cultivating it, but I guess some more blew in during the winter and we have to pick those as well this spring. Probably finish this field within an hour or so. 